Okay, when it comes to the uh, interview segments that Billy Garland's doing, have you caught on to some of the topics he's talking about when he, you know, has 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 put some doubt on Orlando Anderson being involved and it being over a death row chain and um, you know saying that the government was involved? Do you have any thoughts about you know his take on what happened in Vegas? Just like R.J. Bonds, just like Michael Carlin, just like. Carcinio or any other YouTube crazy with conspirators. That's opinion. They don't know. <laughs> he knows as much about what went down in, in, in uh, Vegas than anybody. This what he done learned or what he done heard or, you know, regarding uh, anything. I heard he make statements that he was old money and all of that. Oh, his, his attorneys did some accounting and all of that that I don't know about. It's just people's opinions from what they done heard or what they believe. His opinion is just like yours, somewhat mine. I know a little, I have a little inside information or anybody else out there. He don't know. He's just opinion. But it doesn't surprise me. Y'all got to remember, this is like ex-Black Panther. They all hate the government. They, they think the government is corrupt in so many ways. Police are corrupt in so many ways. And so that's, you know, I don't be surprised that he's going to go with the conspiracy. I'm glad he <clears throat> he has confirmed a few things. He told you motherfuckers that y'all crazy if y'all believe that Tupac's not a lie. Something that I've been saying for a long time. Could Tupac be that quiet? Y'all know I've been saying Tupac couldn't been that quiet for... I told y'all before, if Tupac was hiding, and I found out that nigga was hiding for, a, 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 for more, less than two years left, that would be the biggest coward bitch nigga in the world to me if I found out he's hiding somewhere from going to do jail time for two years. His daddy pretty much said that. Not in no words, not as blunt as I am, but so, you know, he told y'all how Moprin is a motherfucking liar, how Yo-Yo's a motherfucking liar. He told y'all that. Y'all don't want to listen to Reggie? Y'all, do y'all want to listen to him on that? Do y'all want to listen to him about that? He told y'all. Tupac was on a ventilator and was in bad shape, y'all. He told y'all. So all those people. So, you know, I can't call him a liar. Like I just said, people be mistaken or, 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 or not knowing the whole facts. But, you know, the thing about the two guards that were standing outside the door. I told y'all that. You know, I was saying, oh, Gobi was a security. <laughs> and the outlaws and stuff, I try to tell you. So I love how people, stuff start coming out. Y'all never give me credit. Reggie always the liar, liar, liar. But then everything Reggie be saying, people always speak about in a, in a roundabout way. You know, that it was two guards standing outside the door. Now he had this man on it. They kept asking why. They kept asking why because they knew him. But they knew not to go in the room. That, that wasn't their job to go in the room, but they made sure the few people, like he said, could go in the room, could, but he said because he wanted to throw it out and inference like we wanted to know so he wouldn't snitch on Reggie or Tupac is why my guards kept asking. I, I guess that's where he meant or was trying to go with. No, because they were concerned because they had been around him the last 11 months and bothered them too. That's why they were asking, hey, how did he look? Did he, you know, was there any conditions or, or was there anything, anything to report? I guess. Or being nosy or just trying to have a conversation with them. Don't know their reasoning for it, but the reason I bring up the subject is to show. This is stuff Reggie been telling y'all that I done been called a liar and people done been saying it. Reggie's lying. Not people that in the know. You people that listen to the old white man and you people that listen to people in the comments who, uh, you know, like trolling. And, but I've been telling y'all. Tupac, and I'll reiterate, wasn't crying, trying to talk, shaking no beds, and all of that stuff. His daddy just told y'all that. So please listen to that.